Josh Duggar's sentencing court date has been delayed by two months, as he faces 20 years in prison for child pornography charges. Josh, 34, was found guilty of possessing and receiving child pornography on December 9 after a nearly two-week trial. Josh requested to postpone the April 5 sentencing by 30 days while he remains behind bars in Washington County Jail in Arkansas. The Sun can exclusively reveal Judge Timothy L. Brooks approved the request and gave him an additional month, as his sentencing has been scheduled for May 25. Josh asks for delay Josh requested to postpone the sentencing by 30 days. Court papers obtained by The Sun read, because of certain reasonable COVID-19 precautions understandably instituted at the jail at which Duggar is being detained, it has been more difficult scheduling meetings with Duggar than during more ordinary times. Josh's legal team has had a delay in scheduling certain attorney-client privileged meetings by videoconference with Duggar. The defense then explained they would benefit from a continuance to provide additional time to pursue additional information and documentation. Josh's legal team also has scheduling issues with unrelated cases, which would be resolved with a postponement. The legal team insisted that the request is not intended to unnecessarily delay or hinder the proceedings. New trial request Josh's legal team filed a motion for an acquittal of the guilty verdict, a new trial, or the dismissal of the possession of child pornography charge. Prosecutors responded by claiming, the evidence of the defendant's guilt is clear and overwhelming. Josh's attorneys fired back by calling the trial and guilty verdict, unconstitutional. A judge has not ruled on the appeal. The pre-sentence investigation report, which helps determine the appropriate sentence, was completed in February. Josh's legal team filed a response, objection to the findings, though all documents are sealed. How long behind bars? The Sun previously spoke with Beverly Hills attorney Adam Michael Sachs regarding Josh's sentencing. Judge Brooks will decide on the exact number of years based on a range determined by the federal sentencing table that factors in criminal history, age of victims involved in the child sexual abuse material and more. The attorney exclusively told the son that he believes the father of seven will get the maximum sentence in the range. The lawyer, who specializes in family and criminal law, said, the judge doesn't have a lot of discretion because of the formula used for sentencing. If the judge feels like he's worth saving, he'll go towards the lower end of the range. If Josh has a bad attitude in court or if he is influenced by victim statements, he'll aim for the higher range. The attorney continued, for Josh, I believe he will get a higher sentence. Courts don't want to deal with being accused of giving special treatment and just giving a slap on the wrist. The judge might say, people looked up to you. You were on television. You should have been a better example for the people who watched you. The attorney also confirmed that Josh's two charges will run concurrently, meaning he will serve both sentences at the same time. Shocking trial Josh was arrested and charged with possessing and receiving child pornography in April 2021. The highly publicized jury trial lasted two weeks before the jury submitted a guilty verdict on both counts. At trial, prosecutors presented damning evidence from Josh's HP computer. It was revealed that one file name found on his HP desktop computer was of a video of a three-month-old being sexually abused. 